You know what pisses me off so much? And this is what I just don't understand. I've just discovered that that um, Unsolved Mysteries apparently is um, back on national television, regular television, cable, on channel 34, with, um, I believe it's on from 10 p.m. to midnight, I believe. But uh, it's the Dennis Farina version. Now, before I get into this, I'm just, I just want to say this. If people like the Dennis Farina version, if you like, if you, if you also like the Netflix reboot version, to each their own, more power to you. I've tried the Netflix reboot. I just knew Unsolved Mysteries was not going to be as great compared to its heyday with Robert Stack. And uh, in my opinion, well, actually, this is the, the, when it comes to Unsolved Mysteries, this is what I'm just going to talk about. Is um, I'm just going to talk about this subject. I'm just pretty angry and just so a I'm just kind of outraged that why is it such a big deal not to air the original Robert Stagg versions which made Unsolved Mysteries so great back in the day I mean back in early 2000 uh, 2019 Film Rise thank thank you Film Rise bought the rights to Unsolved Mysteries and they're back on YouTube Back on YouTube. Frankly, that's the only source that you can have access to the original Robert Stagg versions. While at the same time, they do give you updates on segments or cases. And I also remember going on demand that Unsolved Mysteries was um, was on demand with Robert Stagg. And yeah, with the Dennis Freina versions. But since the day... This is what I also noticed. The day... The reboot Unsolved Mysteries came on Netflix. The Robert Stagg versions are not on demand anymore. That you can't view on your regular television. And now lately, with Unsolved Mysteries, with um, Dennis Farina on national TV, cable, channel 34 on Oxygen, 10 o'clock to midnight I believe, they have the Dennis Farina version. Will they ever air the, the Robert Stagg version? This is what I just don't get. Is um, why is it such a big why? Why is it so hard to air the original Robert Stagg versions on TV? I mean, thank you, Film Rise. Thank you for buying the rights to Unsolved Mysteries and bringing them back on YouTube. But I remember some years ago. That Unsolved Mysteries was on YouTube, but because of copyright issues, they deleted Unsolved Mysteries for, on YouTube back in, what, um, 20, 2010 maybe, or 2009, I, I'm not sure. But, again, my big issue is, what? why is it so hard to bring the, the original Robert Stagg version back on national TV. Why is it so hard? Explain it to me. We can, most of us can definitely agree that the Robert Stack, I understand Robert Stack has passed away. I understand that. And I don't want to hear the argument to let Robert Stack rest in peace, you know, this kind of thing. I understand that, but his legacy, it's not like we're digging up his grave and not letting him rest in peace. It's about legacy. Leave, leave me a legacy behind. That's like saying if... Like if... um, If you like Michael Jackson music, but he died... Sadly, he died back in 2009. But we still like his music because he left behind a legacy. So that means because someone's dead, we can't listen to their music, or we can't listen... Or we can't watch movies that they starred in. Give me a break. Anyway, all I'm saying is, bring back Robert Stack versions on national TV, television, with updates added to it. But so far, 
Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Stack during its original heyday when Unsolved Mysteries is so great. It is on YouTube, thanks to Film Rise. Anyway, I know I'm going to go on and on repeating stuff here, but you get what I'm saying. Thank you for watching, and uh, you take care.